Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how you can draw your very own art journal people using a very simple tool. This is a drawing mannequin and um, you can find them for about five dollars. Well, about ten dollars in an art supply store or five dollars online. And um, they're just basically little poseable wooden figures that you can help to like, you know, you could put them in like a pose and then you can sketch them and it can be really helpful because you've got a model to work from and it, unlike you know drawing from a fashion magazine you don't have all the distractions of you know makeup and clothes and um all the other different things you actually can just kind of get them in the in a pose and then you know draw it out so they're very very versatile um that's how i drew this girl here and i used a quote by jack kerouac a jack kerouac quote awfully proud of myself i said that without getting tongue-tied this time. And the quote is, be in love with your life every minute of it. So I drew this girl and gave her a suitcase and she's waving like she's hailing a taxi or something. And I just thought that was really fun. And I drew it right on top of a page that I had previously, um, just a background I previously made in my book. But I am gonna show you how to draw on a plain sheet because it is, um, it's distracting and you can't really see my pencil lines. And um, I've decided I'm gonna stick to just the drawing today because I tried doing this video and coloring the, the thing too and just wasn't it, I couldn't get it done in the amount of time this page took me about 40 minutes so just to help you have a little perspective there that I didn't just dash it off in five minutes um, so I'm gonna go to a fresh sheet in here and this was one this is the one I tried to do in the video but it was just I couldn't I didn't have time to blend or do anything really good that was just an ink sketch um, so we're gonna start with a regular pencil I'm gonna draw a lot darker than I would generally um, just so that you can see and I'm gonna do I'll do the uh, the pose here where they're kind of twisted and running I kind of like that so what we're gonna do is start with basic shapes and basic lines and um, so I usually like to start with a torso just that's just my personal preference and um, it's kind of like a trapezoid here and then you've got the waist and the hips and I've got most of the weight coming down on this front leg. Actually, I got all the weight because the other back leg is is up, and then it's coming down here. I think you can see that. I'm just going to darken these lines up a little bit to make sure you can see it. Going down into the leg here, and then we've got this uh, this foot there um, and then the back leg you can kind of see it coming back here it's foreshortened we're only seeing we're not seeing the full length of it we're gonna see most of the uh, the calf area and then we got the foot and then the arms actually I think I want to change this this is kind of a weird I think I want one of the arms to go back or something I feel like it's kind of there I feel like that's a little bit more natural so I'm gonna move that arm right there so those are the adjustments you can make where like you couldn't really have somebody standing there posing for you like that they wouldn't be able to hold that now when I'm looking at this I'll show you the mod model again I'll look at this space in here this negative space it's easier to draw this negative space here than to try to figure out how that arm is going um, because I think we tend to um, I think that we tend to draw what we think we see instead of what we actually see and they're also parallel at the eye of the arm and legs parallel here on my uh, model so I want to make sure that I've got that accurate or at least close to accurate as I can and a quick sketch and then I've got the, uh, the hand kind of going back like that and I've got this arm kind of coming forward the shoulder there and again, I'll look at my negative space in here. I can show you that again. Then I'll look at the space in here, that negative space in there. Doesn't really matter how you pose your model. Now I've completely forgotten what I was doing there. I want to get that negative space in. Doesn't matter how you pose your person because, um, because it's the same principles no matter what. So you just kind of keep that in mind. You're, it doesn't matter how you draw them as long as you draw what you see and then we get this hand here and my the person's neck kind of had his tip tilted slightly probably looking back over here she's looking that way all right and then I can get that 
my, my orientation lines for facial features. And then maybe I'll have like a ponytail swinging in the wind or something. And um, I just want to check out the legs again to make sure I have them long enough. And the other thing to, uh, to keep in mind is you want to have your, if you're using a mannequin, you want to make sure you have it at least a couple feet in front of you or you're going to end up with some foreshortening issues, meaning you're going to have some distortion if you have them too close to you. Um, especially if they're not at eye level, that will be a little bit confusing. And which I think I'm having a little bit of that issue with the legs here, a little foreshortening issue. But uh, there we go. Okay, so then I would grab a pen and I'm just going to grab a number one micron and these were provided to me by Oriental Trading so if you are doing any shopping with them please I'll let them know you heard them mentioned on my channel so they will know uh, how much I appreciate their support alright so I would just go through at this point and um, start adding in details going over the lines, only the lines I want to keep making any of the uh, lines a little bit more graceful sometimes I can tell something's a little bit off because I mean you gotta look at the, the shoulders I think are probably the least accurate um, the least accurate bits of the uh, the model so you have to keep that in mind the shoulders are very um, they're very gommy on the female model I think cause they have to just be so big so they can articulate they're not so gommy on the male dolls I got a male one here they seem to be a little bit more in proportion because the male's torso is a little bit thicker it doesn't seem to stand out so much it doesn't seem to be so disjointed I find that the, the female one does seem a little disjointed and I think that um, I want to put some sort of outfit on her I'm just trying to think of what you would be doing if you had this sort of this sort of pose, you'd probably be like, I don't know, running or something, doing something, something sporty. So why don't we put like a, some sportswear on her? It's not as fun as doing a frilly dress, but, but that's all right. We'll do that today. And just try to, try to keep your lines fairly smooth. Now for me, now this, the arm is starting to look a little long, so I think I might want to shorten that up a little bit. I can always tell a little bit better once I start sketching. Um, or maybe she's she's gone to the five-day Macy sale or the five-hour Macy sale. She's got a shopping bag. Let's do that. That'll be kind of fun. And then we've got uh, yeah, we've got a shopping bag. That would be funny. Or maybe she's late for the train and she's rushing to work. What is this lady's story? Anyone? Leave a comment. Let me know what this lady's up to. Is she shopping? You put a star. She's been to Macy's. There we go. She's <laughs> She's been shopping at Macy's. Okay, and uh, let's see, maybe some running shorts. She's serious. She's going to... Running shorts. You can tell I don't run because I can't draw running shorts. <laughs> what do those look like? Anyways, I don't know. And she's got to... Oh, got to put her pocket... Maybe she's got a pocketbook in this hand because she's... She's been doing some shopping. She's got her wallet. Maybe she's got... Oh, you know what? She's got, she got a dollar bill. She's just... <laughs> yeah, she's been shopping. She means business. There we go. Yeah, I should have probably had a plan as to what my character was going to be doing before I uh, before I began. She's got some uh, flats on. That's very sensible shoes to wear when you're rushing off to the Macy's sale. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know. I think I'm putting too much pressure on myself to do a video a day. And uh, yeah, let's see. Your heel will be there, kind of coming around there. And there she, there she is. She's been to Macy's. She spent some money. Well, at least you know how to draw from a uh, wooden doll now, right? Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. I will go back and show you the proper page that looks halfway decent, um, which is right there. Uh, I hope that gives you some ideas as to how to use dolls in your artwork. Again, these are like, uh, I don't know, five bucks, five to ten dollars, and um, I think they're a really great investment for your artistic endeavors. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.